Uh, next up, we have Nicole Killen. Said, I'm Nicole Killen. Um, this presentation will kind of do as the rest of them did and take you on a journey of my MPA program and how my identities have shaped who I am as a public administrator. Um, so I think one of the most integral lessons that I've learned within this program is self-awareness and specifically around identity and privilege. And so with this presentation, I only thought it would be fitting to talk about how my identities have made me who I am and also contributed to my commitment as a public servant. So let's take travel back in time to one of my first identities, and that's the one you can see. And so I was born and still identify as a white female. Um, while I didn't know it at the time, there are specific power and privilege taken from me and also given to me solely based on these two characteristics. Um, I also grew up in a very conservative rural hometown and where everyone also looked and identified like me. I knew I needed to get out of this town and experience other perspectives, and I decided that softball would be my experience to do so. I went to Christopher Newport University, and this is where my collegiate athlete experience came out. Although collegiate softball was my main commitment in undergrad, I set out to develop other life skills by gaining a leadership studies minor and investing in other various leadership positions through the President's Leadership Program and committing to volunteering with several nonprofits through a service distinction program. While I was being pulled in various different directions, the identity that I held very close to my heart was a scientist. Um, I had the opportunity to explore this passion through a research project with the Virginia Institute for Marine Science, where I studied so many oysters within the Chesapeake Bay system. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this was a great experience, however, it left me questioning my future career path, because I realized that a lab setting and the natural science research was not where my heart was at. Instead of immediately going to graduate school, I decided to take a year off and figure out what I actually wanted to do with my life. So during this year, I gained a new identity and that was of a higher education administrator. This is when I knew I wanted to continue my education, but I was missing my identity as a scientist. After doing some digging, I stumbled upon the EBSS and MPA concurrent program at the College of Charleston and realized that this was a perfect program to gain the skills and expertise that I needed to address the wicked problems of today's society. However, I was still trying to figure out how higher education fell in to with the realm of public administration. I knew that there was a value of having this deep understanding of public administration, but I didn't know how that could quite relate to what I wanted to do with higher education. I've learned that the goals, programs, and initiatives of higher education institutions bring together groups of people with various different backgrounds to work in unity to create equity for all. This is exactly what public administration is all about. And so as um, a new identity that I discovered a little bit more recently, is that of a sustainability change maker. I believe that sustainability is the best way to bring together public administration and higher education because sustainability focuses on fulfilling the needs of the present while also not compromising the needs of future generations, all while ensuring a balance between economic vitality, environmental health, and social equity. To show how sustainability works within higher education institutions in the real world, I decided to do my thesis project around sustainability initiatives to increase zero waste practices within our athletic facilities, which is what I'm going to do after this. Um, <laughs> so, see me digging the trash tomorrow morning. Um, but while I, uh, I did want to shift gears a little bit to talk about the identity that really affected me the most, and that was to be a first generation college student. However, it wasn't until getting to graduate school that I realized how valuable and unique this experience has been to my personal and professional development. While I'll never take my experience for granted, I have come to realize that education isn't everything. Everyone has had experiences that have led them to where they are, and those experiences should be valuable and important in their own way. The MPA program has allowed me to come into contact with various different people from various different walks of life, and I've appreciated the openness, and the vulnerability, the constructive criticism, and even the bias checks along the way. Um, but of course, I would never take anything for granted and um, have always loved the laughs that we've had in class. <laughs> so, what am I going to do next? <laughs> Who really knows? However, I do hope to have a career where I am directly interacting with people and working to make a positive impact. Listening to people's stories and understanding their perspective is something that I really value, and I think that all public administrators should have that value as well. 
So I would love to continue making sustainability happen within higher education institutions, as I believe this is an opportunity for institutions to be a catalyst for positive change by educating, connecting, and empowering members of the community for the well-being of our ecological systems and our people. Before I finish, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone in this room and even beyond. I have built meaningful relationships with each and every one of you with varying different backgrounds where I've gotten to go past the tip of that iceberg and actually gain a deep appreciation for identities that are different from my own. I have started, um, I start every morning with a gratitude journal and today I realize how grateful I am to have this MPA program and the folks who are associated with this community. And you have blessed me with your kind hearts and I've learned that our differences is what makes this program such an enriching experience. Do you guys hear my voice crack at the end of that?